All right, welcome back. It is The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And this time around, we are looking at sports, specifically the local league, the NPFL. And we have a sports journalist, uh, Monday Thomas, joining us all the way from Aquarium. Good morning to you, Monday. Good morning. How are you doing? I am doing so, so, so well. Uh, before we just start, uh, let us talk about the NPFL, which is the highest uh, league in uh, Nigeria, how would you say we are doing? Because we have suffered so much in terms of um, funding and uh, dwindling finance since uh, the 2000s. All right, the NPFL, we know that uh, a lot has been happening to Nigerian football. Well, Nigerian sports, I mean, uh, sports is uh, something where we don't really take a look at as uh, something that can give us money. Apart from it being a, a legal, I think sports can also be a venture. And I think that is... Um, that is becoming so because of the new administration, the sport minister, with the LMC uh, being uh, dysfunctioned and the new IMC, the Interim Management Committee, coming in to set things in, in place so that the league uh, can get on the way. And uh, we've seen uh, sponsorship, we've seen referees indemnity secured and uh, guaranteed for this season. And uh, with the abridged version of the league uh, for this uh, current season, I think uh, it's, it's certainly going to be an exciting season to look out for with the fundings and the sponsoring. In case you don't know, uh, the winner of the NPFL this season will go on with 100 million naira. And uh, about uh, 20 million was given to every club. Um, 10 million naira was given to every club at the start of the season as an operational uh, fund for them to get it all started with. So this new NPFL season, later on in the season, we're expecting the league to be on TV so it's certainly not going to be business as usual. And uh, I think it's, it's going to be a great season from my point of view. All right. Uh, interesting one that you have mentioned. Uh, Monday, you talked about um, uh, incentivizing you know, for the winners. You talked about the $100 million. Uh, That is really massive. And this time around, we'll, we'll get to be watching it on local TV, you're saying? Yes, that's what it is. And uh, for some uh, clubs already, you know, there are some clubs that are very... Um, let's say they are very sophisticated and they, they know uh, the importance of branding, the likes of uh, Remo Stars. If you see their branding, it's a top, top, top tier branding. And they also like to get on TV. They have a YouTube page. So while we are waiting for the league to be on uh, uh, our very national television, just like it was in the first game where Bendel Insurance took on a Qua United, the likes of Bendel, uh, the likes of Remo Stars and other clubs who are inclined with uh, technology, uh, they are putting their, their, their football games up there on YouTube. So anyone can get to see it while they are waiting for the league to be on TV consistently. That is what, that was, what was promised to us by the IMC, the Interim Management Committee. Let's just wait for them to uh, fulfill their promise for the league to be on TV. And it might not be all the games every weekend, but at least the, the big games will get to enjoy them on TV. All right, at least we get to start somewhere. Even if we don't get to see all the big games, at least we will be watching some of the major games. And it's a good thing that you mentioned um, Remo Stars uh, because they are in the news, from what we understand. Late goals uh, gave them, and of course, insurance uh, maximum points. Can you tell us about that? Fantastic one so far in the season. I think about four clubs have um, maintained a 100% winning record. Uh, since the league got on the way uh, some weeks ago. It's been match day two, and we saw the, stand the second stanza of match day two yesterday. Remo Stars uh, uh, won their game uh, in the Dining Embers, a goal by Andy Ope. And just like we saw them last season returning to the NPFL and making it to the continent qualifying series, unfortunately, they were not able to qualify to the, com the CAF competition stop. But if you see the way they play on the pitch, if you see the structure of uh, this team, they are certainly the face setter as far as uh, as far as NPFL clubs are concerned. The branding, the way they policy a manager, the manager is actually returning. Uh, Morgan Dede is actually returning from Portugal after undergoing some um, uh, some training, some uh, coaching training. Is now is now back, and you can see the profits already. You can see the dividends already. Two wins out of two, one home win, another on away win, and it's it's it's, it's a season where. We are hoping that the referees will continue doing the right thing now that their indemnities are guaranteed. And the referees who are the major, major actors of Nigerian football, if they do the right thing, I think we are going to have right champions and uh, right representatives when the time comes for uh, uh, the champions to represent Nigeria in the continent or the top four side because it's going to be an abridged, abridged version. And I say this 
uh, with the whole of my chest that uh, this league season is going to be very competitive. We have about uh, 18 matches to be played. Two of them played, 16 more to come. Mm. Uh, clubs know that uh, from the off of the season, uh, it is the business end. And uh, knowing that uh, top three of uh, the respective groups will play in the Super Six, and uh, uh, bottom two of the respective groups will be uh, relegated. So they need to know that uh, they stand a chance to make it to the to, uh, Super Six and possibly represent Nigeria in the continent. And for the bottom two of the respective uh, groups, they stand a chance to be relegated. So it's going to be competitive, and mm. we've seen that so far. The likes of Benyimba, who are one of the most successful teams in this league, they didn't have it so easy against the 2020 champions of Kwai United in their match day two. It finished nil nil in Aba and uh, um, Ayimba, who of course were winners against Nassau United in their first match day, will be looking to see, hey, we have to do what we need to do. You know the saying? If you do the right thing at the right time, if you get it done early, you have more time for fun. So if you get your wins and maybe with uh, two games to spare, you're guaranteed a place in the Super Six and maybe hopefully you win the title. So it's going to be competitive as mm. we're seeing it uh, start from the beginning. Let's talk about um, uh, the contention right there and uh, the, uh, the biggest uh, major contenders. Uh, we are aware of um, uh, Rivers United, uh, you know, doing very well. Uh, and then the season with 77 points and, of course, uh, uh, breaking the league record of 73 points in the league campaign. How do you see them playing this time around? Rivers United, fantastic. I think for me, worthy champions of the NPFL last season. And with the backing of the uh, governor, Mr. His Excellency, <laughs> Governor Wicked, <laughs> so the man is doing greatly. I have got to say that uh, with the uh, incentives and motivating this force. You know, football in Nigeria seems to be uh, a, a, a business where you venture it and you don't know your future. You know, footballers, they don't have longevity like that. Not all of them. And uh, when you play football at the age of uh, 30, you know, you're already uh, reach, uh, reaching the, uh, hitting the iceberg. And you know, your, your career is declining. So with uh, sp support from the state government, just like we're seeing in Rivers, I think Rivers United are going to be another force to reckon with. I, I see them, I see them uh, defending the title. Yes, for some reason, I see them defending the title. Uh, they picked up a draw in their and match day. Uh, they were almost close to winning, if not for the uh, diamond equalizer by the Sunshine Stars. They were very close to winning uh, that particular game. But Rivers United wants to watch out for, but not by any means. I'm not discrediting any side. Mm -hmm. Aqua United are also top contenders. They played out a, a draw against Aimba in a bar. So they are getting their season started, although in the second match day. Uh, for the likes of Blackfoot United, we mm -hmm. saw them in the top four last season. And no one is talking about uh, their Warriors. Two wins out of two. Uh, first, it was a win away from home to a new Rangers. And they also got a win in their match day two. So, and I don't think it's, um, it's uh, right for us to start talking about the contenders. Okay. Maybe let's just wait until uh, match day 10. All right. And let's see how serious these teams are. All right, um, Monday, we are actually going to keep our fingers crossed. Let's talk about some of the fixtures uh, that will be played uh, this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful, wonderful features. On Saturday, uh, Nasaka United and Aqua United. What do you see playing out uh, on Saturday? All right, uh, a lot of matches are going to be played this weekend. Let me see if I can run some of them down uh, for all of us. Uh, on Saturday by 4 p.m., Nasaka United will be taking Aqua United on. Then uh, Enugu Rangers uh, will take on uh, Sunshine Stars on Saturday. Uh, then on Saturday again, we have another match. Uh, Abba, uh, Abia Warriors with Lobby Stars will be you know, locking horns uh, this weekend. Other matches for this weekend. On Sunday, we have Quara United taking on Bendel Insurance uh, with El Kanemi Warriors FC. Uh, we'll be slogging it out with uh, Gombe United. That's uh, on Sunday at 4 p.m. Bayelsa United FC will be slugging it out uh, with uh, Wiki Tourist uh, this Sunday. That's also by 4 p.m. We have Doma United slugging it out with Dakada FC on Sunday. Then uh, we have Plateau United uh, will be uh, doing uh, head-on with uh, 
Ayimba on Sunday, the 22nd of uh, January. Rivers United with Niger Tornadoes. Uh, this uh, net will be coming up sometime um, uh, next week. That's on Tuesday, to be precise. All the matches we will be expecting to see uh, in the upcoming week. Uh, we have uh, Remo Stars FC uh, going uh, head on with the uh, shooting stars. Then Ayimba again is on with uh, Kuala United on Saturday, the 28th of uh, January. Uh, ben Dell in turn will be locking hands with the Remo Stars on the 28th of uh, this month. That's uh, January the 28th on Saturday with uh, Remo Stars. Uh, ben Dell in turn. Aqua United will be battling down with uh, Plato United on Sunday. Uh, then again, we have a uh, shooting Stars FC locking hands with El Canemy uh, Warriors. Then Gombe United FC will be taking on, uh, that's next Sunday, uh, Nasarawa United. Lots of matches uh, you're expecting to see. Great, great, great fixtures here. Wiki Tourist uh, with Doma United on Sunday, the 29th of uh, January. Then Niger Tornadoes with Inigo Rangers International will be locking hunts on the 29th of uh, January. That's also on Sunday. Lobby Stars with Bayosa United. FC, Gombe United FC, and Sean, uh, Shooting Stars FC will be locking on on the 1st of February. A whole lot uh, to expect uh, this particular season on the new MPFL. Uh, remember, you know, they'll be uh, winning a sum of 100 uh, million naira. You know, that's a whole lot. In as much as uh, Nigerians uh, don't usually watch much of uh, the MPFL, uh, from what uh, Monday Thomas has told us uh, uh, so far from his analysis, uh, uh, some of the major games uh, will be played on local television. We are getting to the level where we'll start seeing all of the major shows on the national team. We have uh, Monday yet again. Monday, thanks for staying with us. Good to have you again. All right, Monday. sincere apologies for that um Interruption. Uh, I'm back. Uh, so, no, uh, as I was apologies saying, accepted. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no. All right. So, we're really taking a look at the the matches that will be played this uh, weekend. Can you kindly just uh, go back to that one? So yes, that I was, I, I, yes, I was saying that uh, this uh, weekend we had lots of them. Um, uh, let's start with uh, for tomorrow. We have Nasaka United uh, facing head on Aqua United. How do you see that going? All right, Nassau United lost their first game to uh, Aimba in um, their match day one encounter. And uh, taking on Aqua United in their third game, they'll be looking to uh, return to winning ways, uh, possibly, uh, especially at their home ground. But it's not going to be easy because Aqua United are not having an easy start. And uh, being the champions of the 2020 season, they'll want to maintain that pedigree. So it's going to be a KG game. And I mean, it's a game where, or it's a season where home teams and away teams, I mean, they play in a level uh, playing ground. No one has an advantage over who because the referees are not as uh, corrupt as they were last season. Of course, we have to emphasize that the referees are doing much better this season. And we pray that, and we also hope that they continue in that fashion. So I, I can't really predict that game, but I'm, I'm thinking of why United are going to just give them a run for their money. Mm. But being that Nassau United are the home team, uh, they could just nick one, maybe a one-year win uh, to Nassau United at the end of the day. All right, uh, Sunshine Stars is also locking horns with Enugu Rangers International FC tomorrow as well. Enugu Rangers, uh, they've started the season so poorly. They've uh, not been able to win any games, uh, that, any game that they've played so far. Two games, no victories. They travel to Sunshine Stars in Akure. It's going to be a feisty clash, but they can also have that as a motivation uh, to get their league started because football is a game of momentum. You, you, it doesn't matter how many games you've lost, but if you want, if you can just win one, you build your momentum for the next one. So I, I'm pretty sure that Enugu Rangers, they understand this better and they will just want to get at least a point against uh, Sunshine Stars. Just have to wait. All right, uh, the final match uh, that we'll an analyze for Saturday uh, game day is uh, Abia Warriors and Lobby Stars. Uh, who do you think will uh, be making a uh, win at that day or are they going to be sharing spoils? Abia Warriors, I mean, they, they, they look like the, the underdogs of uh, the NPFL season, but we've seen their quality so, so far. Two wins out of two, one of the four teams that, that have uh, maintained a 100% winning record in the, the new season. So they'll, they'll be uh, at home and they'll want to show their quality once again at home. I'm giving straight win. 
mm. and I'm putting my money on to be a Warriors. All right, as we round off, now let's look at some matches that we played for Sunday very quickly. Uh, we have Aquara United and um, Bendel Insurance, as well as El Kanemi Warriors and Gombe United FC. Let's get your analysis. All right, I love it that we are actually taking a look at the, the, the games played this weekend because I, I want to talk about the NPFL. It's an exciting season for me, being that it's an abridged version. You want to do business. You want to get it on the business end at the start of uh, this uh, uh, competition. And the NPFL, the top flight league, and uh, for Nigeria to be serious about football in the country, the NPFL has to be working. Qual United, for some seasons now, we've seen them in the top four, top five, top six. They're a top side, if you ask me. And uh, they're going to show their top quality on Sunday. Straight win for them. All right, thank you so much, uh, Monday, Thomas, for all of your analysis uh, this morning. You joined us all the way from Akwai but we do appreciate your time. It was great talking to you. Thank you so much for having me. All right, uh, that's the size of the show for this morning and indeed this week. Many thanks to all of our viewers who have watched us from all around the world. My name is Justin Akadonye. Uh, the news comes up at top of the hour, 9 a.m. Stay with us.